Leo, welcome guys. Welcome to your August reading or whenever this message finds you as energy is fluid, time is an illusion, right? All right, Leo, these are general, not for every Leo out here. Okay, not personal reading, so not everyone will resonate. Energies can be interchangeable, vice versa. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart, Leo. Leo, happy birthday. Yes, so we're going to see what this um, Lionsgate portal energy brings for the Leos through this month of August and beyond, okay? You know, because it, it could take place after August. doesn't necessarily have to be this month, okay? So, guys, thank you for being here. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell for those of you who want to know when my readings come out. And let's get to it, Leo. All right, what's going on for my Leos? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> A little extended <laughs> uh, birthday for my Leos. Okay, I know you guys are feeling powerful, strong, beautiful, handsome with this beautiful surge of energy. This is a time of accelerated awakening, ascension. Okay, so if you're in the right energy, you're not going to feel a thing, okay? Just good things. <laughs> For the rest of the world, if they're not in a good vibration, they're in a shadow, and they're struggling, they're probably that energy is probably going to be, you know, um, how do you say it, accentuated, uh, okay? So, you know, troubled waters, uh, you know, you will feel, you will feel that energy a little deeper, okay? Because it's trying to move you forward. All right, Leo, let's get into this. Let's do one more shuffle. All right. I'm hearing, and the beat goes on, and the beat goes on. Some of you are riding that wave of divine timing. la di la da di la di la da la hermit all right seek solitude to focus intently on inner life serves personal creativity so some of you again you're feeling that surge some of you are getting some downloads some of you are going through another wave of ascension and enlightenment okay so this is you know you already know leo okay for those of you awakened souls out there you already know it's a time for ascending a time for downloads a time for maybe a little more shadow work okay you know it comes in waves it's never just one ascension or enlightenment process there are levels to this shit okay so some of you already know all right some of you in hermit modes not just to ascend or you know do what it is you do even better or to take it all in, but also to start new creative projects, new businesses, you know, different streams of income, stuff like that, okay? You know, getting creative and being your true authentic self. Yeah, some of you are mystics. Look at that. Yes. Revels in intimate union with the divine. Look at that. Yep, some of you are needing some rest here um, and just getting in those downloads okay meditation good time for meditating right now as well uh, meditation is not just for insight it's also to balance out your energy to be in a more peaceful state of mind and that oneness um, energy within so let's see what's surrounding your love life at this time what's surrounding you when it comes to love Yeah, I'm hearing that Mariah Carey song. You got me feeling emotions deeper than I've ever dreamed of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you got me feeling emotions higher than the heavens above. Woo! 
What's coming at you, Leo? Somebody's got you feeling it. Make you feel like singing and dancing and what's going on? This must be an energy surrounding you. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about it. Oh, yeah. Worth waiting for. Divine timing. There it is. <laughs> is that work in your love life? Some of you are surfing that divine timing wave. It's just different. Divine timing hits different when you understand it and you're in the wave of divine timing. There's no rush. You go with the ebb and flow where you're guided to go by spirit. You understand the process of love and timing and ascension in, in your own life. When to work, when not to work, when to take a break, when to, you know, go out and mingle, when to, you know, look your best, feel your best, when to just relax and, you know, take it, take it, you know, take some time to yourself. Um, and definitely understanding that someone worth waiting for will be coming to you because why not after all this work and all this you know beauty you exude this light energy why wouldn't you know you attract great love worth waiting for the divine is working with you so this is beautiful this is um divine timing is when you're ascending it's like jumping timelines as well you're no longer in that 3d um past timeline some people are living in the past because it's a mindset their mindset is stuck in a past mindset it's not evolving okay like some people are okay so it's it, we're, we're all living kind of in different timelines and you know it just depends on where you at mentally okay your state of mind has everything to do with your perception and the things that are surrounding you okay i don't know why i was getting that deep but okay yeah pay attention to the red flags though okay the signs are cautioning you all right so let's see what else we got going on here yeah dating queen young male all right some of you look good for your age and you could be attracting a young male others of you here could be a young male about to um, you know start dating again maybe you've been in hermit mode for some time but let's see here what's going on here I heard I know that's right <laughs> that's what I heard okay ah uh, twin flame Okay, but pay attention to the red flags here. Something going on here. It could be maybe this twin here. Maybe they want to reach out when they're still in the process of clearing out some karma. That's for some of you. Okay, because there is divine timing at work here. So pay attention to the red flags. Is there for a reason. Yeah, there's travel involved. So this is somebody at a distance here. And I'm hearing a plane right now. Interesting omens you gotta love them yeah we have a beauty queen and obstacles so there could be someone in in their life that's why the red flags is here that's creating obstacles in your connection here but it could be a lesson that they're going through and maybe this is somebody they have been turning cold towards ice king yeah we have a fair male so this could be that young male okay so, yeah, this person has become an obstacle. So, hmm. or for some of you, there's just an obstacle here. And maybe it's because your masculine has been cold. Okay. He's as cold as ice. He's a cold heart as snake. Look into his eyes. Uh-oh. He's been telling lies. He's a lover boy play. He don't play by rules. Uh oh, girl, don't play the fool now. Okay, a little Paula Abdul. Now, I just split the deck, and this is the why there's red flags here. Um, again, with that song, they could have been a player, and we have someone with spiritual attachments, and can we be friends? So, this twin wants to reach out, they want to at least befriend you. 
they want to start talking to you whether for the first time or again here but the red flags is this person has spiritual attachment so do not sleep with this person right now okay um, it's gonna be tempting of course it's your twin but they have spiritual attachments and we have cold hearted snake and we have ice king so this person could be in a not so good energy right now but for whatever reason they want to reach out okay so let's see what's going on here yeah you know of course they could be missing you or wanting to have sex with you yeah you are awakened is what I feel so you know what's up I already saw that energy so we're talking to an awakened Leo here yeah let's talk now I'm hearing that song don't talk just listen it's an R&B song one more shuffle here yeah we got a lesson mm -hmm. Yeah, they could be going through a lesson here. Alright, don't do it, do it. I hate when this gets all discombobulated. Alright. <laughs> Three's company. Come and knock on my door. I'll be waiting for you. I knew this was going to be it. So, wow. Okay, this just got interesting. High level soulmate. Worth waiting for. And it's because your twin is a cold hearted snake and they're playing the field, but they want to reach out. Okay. So there we got a high level soulmate unavailable. Let's see what this is about. Easy on the eyes. So maybe your high level soulmate hasn't walked into your life yet. It says worth waiting for. Um, they could be in a another connection that's temporary, obviously. If they're popping up here, yeah, new love. So your high level soulmate is easy on the eyes, they're very attractive, um, and it is a new love, but something going on here with timing and unavailable, and we did have a lesson there, so your high level soulmate could be learning a lesson right now, um, and I feel like the cold hearted snake could be your twin, okay, but take it how it resonates, so let's see what's going on here, let's get into it Leo. Now I'm hearing that song. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the what's the what's the scenario? Queen of Wands, baby. There you are, Leo, showing up in your reading. This high-level soulmate finds you very attractive. Okay. Um, they see you as someone ambitious, a go-getter. Okay, you could be highly intuitive. We already saw that, right? So they could see this about you. All right, we see it, but. Clearly, they see this as well. Very attracted to you. So they're watching. Two of Wands, the crossroads with unavailable. Easy on the eyes with the Eight of Pentacles. You could work with this high level soulmate, or they're currently working on something here. Or this is you, you're easy on the eyes, okay, and you're just nose to the to the you know ground here um, you know doing your thing nine of swords not surprised to see the nine of swords under the twin flame 
always fear-based mode, restless, can't sleep, I fear doing this, I fear doing that, way overthinking everything, okay? And it's because they have spiritual attachments also. Um, this person could hear voices also, um, but this is because they, it, when you have spiritual attachments, um, one way to acquire spiritual attachments is by the partners you sleep with. If you have someone that sleeps around a lot, those people also have spirit, those, depending on the people they sleep with, they could also have spiritual attachments. So then you get their spiritual attachments and their spiritual attachments, and now you have spiritual attachments. Spiritual attachments are spirits that are attached to you in a very sexual way as well. Or they want to haunt you somehow, some way. They choose you, okay, for whatever reason. And somebody's walking around with all this energy. But it feels very lustful energy. So, you know, it's like a infestation of spirits, um, your twin here. And that's why they're in restless mode. They don't sleep. They're always thinking. Um, you know, their mind is affected by all this energy. All right. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody sees you as very wise here. Is what I'm seeing. Now, you could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, this could this um, high-level soul bait could be um, that. That could be the. Well, no. I was gonna say that could be the the um, cold as ice, but no, that's not what I'm seeing. I feel like, honestly, I feel like this person admires your wisdom. They not only like how attractive you are and how attracted they are to you, but they like your high level of wisdom because you are awakened here. And how you don't take shit from no one. You're very strong. You're very um, witty. You um, know how to cut people off. You speak your truth. There's a little sass here as well. I feel like they like that about you. And we're talking about you dealing with a high level soulmate that is an air sign. You know, they, they have these qualities about them as well. Um, they tell it like it is. Okay. Yeah. Page of Swords. It's funny because I was getting that song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's watching me. I get no privacy. Whoa. So this could be the high-level soulmate watching you. They're unavailable, but they're at the crossroads. Okay, this is somebody that wants to make a move um, elsewhere. They they want to start moving in a different direction, but something is obviously holding them back. Now it could be work-related, relationship-related, or something going on within their family. Could be anything. So let's keep it moving. We have ten of cups. Ten of Cups with easy on the eyes and the Eight of Pentacles. I also see somebody here could have a family business. Maybe talking to their family about you. But this could be someone that is already married. Um, so let's see. What's going on with the twin? Two of Cups. That's your high level soulmate with new love here. So your twin flame is in anxiety over you being in a new connection. So somehow, some way, if they intuit this, they feel it, or they've done readings on you and, and know that a high-level soulmate is coming into your life. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. For some of you, this high-level soulmate is definitely someone you will end up marrying. It's your future beau. Because your twin flame has been in some fuck boy energy, fuck girl energy. Okay. Yeah, look at this. I feel like you're in empress mode. All right, this person loves. Look at look at all this they're looking at. They're looking at how attractive you are, how confident you are, how ambitious you are. You're wise. You 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 know you t tell it like it is. You're sassy. You know you're witty, but you're also compassionate and loving. Okay. What you say, you say out of love. 
you're you're you know what I mean? Like you you you're embodying quite a quite a, a lot of good energy here. You're highly intuitive because you're awakened. You're nurturing. Okay, so you'll cut a motherfucker but then nurture them afterwards. <laughs> so what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, look, okay, I, I know I'm blunt, but let me, you know, let me soften the blow here. <laughs> and then let me, let me uh, uh, attract you with my allure, okay? <laughs> so how can, how can, how can they say no? Right, Leo? All right. So we have justice here. Yeah, this could be your justice. Definitely you could be dealing with a Libra here. Um, so your high level soulmate could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be. It could also be, you know, water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here, Aries or Sagittarius, or these are elements in your chart, or their chart. So you are getting justice here. Yeah, look at that, Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Hmm. Somebody is unhappy, though. In some sort of family dynamic maybe there's like a family business somebody can't seem to get themselves away from yeah Ooh, the ace of swords this is true love right here with this new love okay and this soulmate and your twin flame knows that new love is showing up in your life they know the truth it's haunting them okay yeah they could be the ones kind of you know maybe their your twin is married and you know they're hurting over this is what I'm feeling okay Ooh, look at that the lovers oh wow with a high-level soulmate this is somebody you will definitely love a lot mirrored connection high level connection worth waiting for absolutely divine is getting it right okay spirit is getting it right for you this time because you deserve the best leo i mean you're in the right energy you don't do all this work to end up with a fuck boy fuck girl hell no so this is good this is going to be very passionate but very loving and because you're both vibing high it's like you could just be yourself around this person. You can embody all all your beautiful qualities and this person is not going to judge you because you're both on the same level. Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's coming. Your justice is coming. They're watching. Clearly there's something going on here, but um, I'm sure that's something happening behind the scenes. Spirit is working with this person. Yeah, King of Wands here. So, you know, take the energy that resonates. You could be the King or Queen of Wands here. You could be dealing with another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So there could be a fire sign coming into your life, or your twin is the fire sign. Easy on the eyes with the King of Wands. Yeah, this person's highly attractive. Okay? Definitely. So I see a power couple coming together here. Ten of Wands, yeah. Wow. Your twin knows the truth. And it weighs heavy, like I said. They do not like this. They don't like that you're going to meet a high-level soulmate. They know it. They feel it. They know it. Somehow, some way. And you're, it's not even in your life yet. So they must be getting readings on you. It weighs heavy. They just know. They could have dreamt about it as well. Now, I do want to know what this is about here. Let's look at the bottom as well. Eight of Wands, fast communication, movement, travel with the King of Cups. Look at that. Ooh, somebody's sending you good vibrations. He's got the good vibrations. He's got that sweet sensation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look what's coming. Darling. Somebody that's going to love you like you love them. That's the high-level soulmate right there. 
Could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Taurus. Coming. Okay, in a distant horizon here. Because somebody's um, going through something here. Could be a divorce, too, with justice. But they're coming. And they got commitment on the brain. King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Wands. Okay, yeah. there's it. There you go. And King of Swords to your Queen of Swords. Wow, you guys are matching energies more than you know. All energies. <laughs> Man, Spirit got it right this time, Leo. So they're making a decision, okay, to move forward. They had so they whatever this is that they're in, they have to make a logical decision. Yeah, they were stuck. They could have been in regret, trying to balance themselves. Yeah, they went through a betrayal. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Temperance with Ten of Swords. So they were with somebody probably emotionally unbalanced that kept them stuck and, you know, betrayed them. Okay. But this is coming. They are a true gift to you. And there I see your twin here. In this sexual lustful energy trying to block you this your twin is trying to block you spiritually here sexually so they could be doing you know masturbating or or you know they're running around to acting immature but they're trying to pull on your energy you could have blocked them or they're trying to block you from this high level soulmate yeah low vibing yeah, you're like, uh, I don't got time for this low vibrational energy. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away and going towards this high level soulmate that you manifested. Absolutely, there it is. Past life connection, past life soulmate. Yeah. I feel like your twin is going to play the victim so that you don't take this route. Okay. So your twin is going to be playing the victim. But look at that. The Empress. And you're embodying all queens over here. Okay, so you could be working on on your Queen of Pentacles energy. Wow, Leo. Tell me about it. Oof. So, your high level, if this is your high level soulmate, which I'm feeling, because you guys are mirroring each other, man. You're both ambitious, both attractive, both very loving, both very truthful and blunt, kind of sassy, um, ambitious, creative, um, both very passionate as well. If this is them, then they're going through something or some sort of divorce here, working on some sort of family dynamic here. Because um, I see the Three of Swords, I saw the Five of Cups, and the, um, what, what, what else was it? It was the Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person was betrayed, this high-level soulmate. Um, but you guys embody similar energies. I'm also hearing, like, maybe your charts are similar, your birth charts. So definitely, when you meet this person, I would definitely look at that. Yeah, it, it's like you're, you you guys marry each other a lot. Um, so your birth charts are similar, is what I'm getting. What could be different is your rising and your sun, and maybe your moon. But I feel like there's some other things that are a lot alike. Um, okay, so... Let's get a little more info here. <coughs> oh, sorry, my throat's being attacked. <coughs> my goodness, hold on a second, Leo. I was just saw wealthy men there. All right, let's talk about this queen. So what's happening here with the high level soulmate? We have poverty. 
So, like I said, maybe some of you are working on your pentacles. Hmm. Let's see. If that was Queen of Cups. Or, oh, okay, that could be the person they're with as well. They could be with the Queen of Swords. We have Message with the Queen of Cups here. And the Lovers. Yeah, because the Lovers is here. Okay. So, yeah, your high-level soulmate is dealing with the Queen of Swords. But I still, what I said earlier still holds true. I feel like they do love your wisdom um, and your blunt ways. Yeah, there's a child involved here. Okay. So, there are there's family involved. So your high-level soulmate has children. Oh, you could have children. Take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, they're dealing with somebody that perhaps they... Yeah. Yeah, look. This person expects money. Or this is something coming to you. So... Mm, So this high level soulmate dealing with this queen of sword because we do have the lovers here and that could be a choice. There could be a Gemini here as well. This person is expecting some kind of money over some sort of, I feel, divorce or breakup that's happening. But because we, we have privileged lady, expectation, sudden wealth, and then we have imprisonment with journey. So this person could be trying to get this person locked up and take their money but I don't think that's gonna work because they're worth waiting for this person's coming into your life so something's going on there okay that your high-level soulmate is going through um, let's clear up this energy with this new love to a cup yeah somebody wants you to be their main female ace of swords Message of concern. I told you your twin flame does not like what they are seeing. Okay. Now we do have a message here and a message of concern here. I feel like they're heartbroken because you're going somewhere else. Ten of Wands. Yeah, exactly. What they're thinking about is weighing heavy. Ten of Wands with thoughts. Their divine counterpart, 16 adding up to 7. Yeah, adjudication here. With pathway and main male. So I feel like your high level soulmate is going to court you somewhere along this path here. There's transformation with all these butterflies. Um, and they could be going through a divorce. Or maybe they went to jail for something. I don't know, but I feel like whoever they're with, they're expecting that money. Yeah. <laughs> unexpected income but they're gonna be in despair with we have a sign here that says not hiring so something is not yeah a false person so your high level soulmate was with a first false person they're about to end that journey so this person expecting a lot it ain't gonna go how they how they expect it to go your high level soulmate had to learn a lesson But they're smart. They're getting out of there. Um, so let's see here. What's going on with your twin over here? They're all butthurt and worried over here. this message of concern yeah incident so they're concerned about something coming to light maybe yeah humiliation Ooh. so s something with eloped oh boy Oh, maybe they feel stupid because they did something behind your back and thought you weren't going to find out. Going after what they desire? Yeah, 
they went after what they desired here. Okay, they want to go after you, Divine Feminine. Playing, you're playing hard to get is what they feel. I just feel like you're not interested because you ghosted. <laughs> oh, man. But you're sending them good vibes, okay? <laughs> you're just, you don't want to deal with them because they're in that fuckboy energy. Yeah, you're genuine and one of a kind. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they've wanted you for a long time and they're trying to come to you, but you, you ain't having it. Yeah, you don't want to, yeah, they don't want to miss this opportunity, but there's hidden addictions here, or hidden secrets, okay? Could be addictions too, since I said that. Yeah, you're, you're over it. You're over these hidden secrets. You probably found one of them out. That's why they're concerned about it and they feel humiliated. Because they know you know. <laughs> and you're, you're pretty much done. Yeah, frenemy is close. But yeah, there's a yeah, yeah. That's what I was seeing earlier with the obstacle and the beauty queen. There's some frenemy close to them. They're they're dealing with a past life karmic soul tie, and that's why you're not dealing with them. That's why you're meeting a high level soulmate because they're too busy fucking around or dicking around. Yeah, you're losing interest. It is what it is, right? And there's that nine of swords energy, hyperactive mind. I'm telling you, they got they have spiritual attachments because they're dealing with yeah, karmic female friend. Yeah, they got karmics all around them, but they can't keep their eyes off of you. Yeah, carefree attitude. Yeah, and open to trying new things. And that's what's getting them in trouble. That's why they're walking around with spiritual attachments, smoking mirrors. Yep. Falling for Tammy Dixie and Harriet, or Tom Dick and Harry. Yeah, enjoying the moment and unwinding, and you know, nobody got time for that. Yeah, and there's cops here. Use your discernment. Hmm. Oh, Lord. So, what is going on here with your high level soulmate and this queen of swords and poverty. Okay, that fell on the floor. Hold on a second. Where did it go? Okay. Okay, so this high level soulmate has thirst for knowledge okay so I feel like they're spiritual and open-minded right it would make sense spirit pairing you up with this person especially when you're awakened yeah they feel like you put a smile on their face all right what's going on with this Queen of Swords though and this high-level soulmate is somebody just cold it doesn't have to be an air sign I dedicated something to you Okay. And making you look bad. Whoa, my lights went off. What's going on here? Okay. Alright, what else, Spirit, with this Queen of Swords? So that's an omen here. Making you look bad, and that happened. What's going on here? Yeah, that's that Five of Cups that we saw, emotional manipulation. So, this um yeah greed over money yeah that person is expecting some sort of money here um so your high level soulmate is watching and i feel like this person is also making you look bad 
Um, not not the high level soulmate, the person they're with. So they must know about you. Huh. What else here? Yeah, smoke and mirrors. It's all or nothing for me. Yeah, breaking free. So I feel like your high-level soulmate's like, look, it's all or nothing for me. They're breaking free. We saw travel at the beginning, right? At the bottom of the deck. And they just want to lay here with you and tell you what's been on their mind. Yeah, there's a karmic male friend around them. And a frenemy of... I feel like, you know, there could be a masculine. They could be a divine masculine too, just not your divine masculine. You have a divine masculine here, but you guys are high-level soulmates to each other. So you could be an empress. They could be an emperor. But one of their friends, I feel, wants to sleep with you. There's a lot of karmics around them too. Trying to keep someone bound, karmic family member. They have a family member. Like I felt here, there was something like with a family business or something. So there's a karmic family member trying to keep them bound here. So they, they got some things going on. Some ties here that they're trying to get away from. Yeah, people are very attracted to your energy. I feel they're very attracted to their energy as well. Yeah, they're lawyering up. They were completely blindsided by something here. So there's, there's some things going on there. Yeah. From some sort of long-term commitment they've, that they've been in. Huh. Alright. Let's try to get some timing here. Well, before I do that, let's get some words here. What would this high-level soulmate want to tell you here? Yeah, we have new cycle, new beginning. All right, let's get one more. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't have drama in their life or some sort of situation going on, right? But once you learn that lesson, boy, you start eliminating a lot of people from your life. So you don't have that shit around you. And I feel like that's what they're learning. And you know, your twin has to learn how to do the same. But they're in a fuckboy energy. Fuck girl energy. Alright, so let's see what this high-level soulmate would like to say. Yeah, they're going through a divorce. All right, so I knew I felt that. That's what's happening. They were being emotionally manipulated. A commitment is on the horizon. Yes. Uh, yep, alas, uh, allow me to muster up the courage to ask you out. Woohoo, Leo. Hey, 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 you know. day I'm more and more attracted to you. Is that even possible? Yeah. They've been watching you. Uh-huh. 4404 on the clock. 444. Significant. Yeah, they definitely. They have children. We saw that here. They could have a 9-year-old or an 18-year-old. A financial blessing is is coming, Leo, as well. A breakthrough. A sigh of relief. Or they're about to have a financial blessing because we did see um, expect expecting and we saw sudden wealth. So maybe they're they're um, waiting on some money as well. What else, Spirit? 
Yeah, you are connecting with your high level soulmate. Astral travel, I visit you in the 5D. So they do travel to see you. So, you know, your twin is not the only one you'll connect with in the dream state. Somebody like this, you would connect with them as well. I adore your sense of humor. You are so funny. Okay, so whatever they're watching or watching you on, they, they adore your sense of humor. Well, maybe you've met them already. I don't know. That's for some. But definitely this is new. I feel like they're watching. Now, what's going on here with your twin here? That they're, they're like concerned about something you found out. They feel humiliated. Um, and definitely they know you have a high level soulmate coming into your life. They're, which they don't like. Yeah. They're like, I just know we would hit it off. What else over there? They think you guys would hit it off, but not in that energy. Yeah, spirit's like, don't worry about it, because this new love is about to message you, okay? Or or for some of you, they want another chance with you, okay? This, this twin flame. But they have anxiety over something. But I feel like, for the most part, when this new love reaches out, when your twin flame finds out, if they don't already know... They're going to be, it's going to weigh super heavy on them. Yeah. Anxious. Yeah, we have an ex-wife here. I feel like you blocked me. Yeah, they're blocking whoever this um, karmic soulmate that they're dealing with, this twin. I told you they were dealing with a karmic soulmate. There it is. Lessons, hardships, tra uh, toxic. I feel like you blocked me, so they could be blocking this karmic soulmate. It's an ex-wife or husband. And they have anxiety. So, and computer love, I know you visit me in the 5D. With unavailable, this is your high-level soulmate. Because we have it here, they're going through a divorce. Okay, they don't want to live in just fantasy. And they have children. Okay, and the high-level soulmate is saying, I've never felt so drawn to anyone this intensely before. And they want to know really bad if you feel the same. Um, and there's worries and doubts, of course. And definitely you don't know who this high-level soulmate is. You don't know me, but I see you. Okay? And we did get travel earlier, right? I keep getting that. So they want to travel with you. Or was that? Yeah. That was at the bottom of the deck here. well 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 <laughs> so i feel like when your twin flame finds out that you're gonna meet a high level soulmate because i feel like you've been quiet deal when it comes to your twin they don't know really what you're up to when they find out oh boy it's gonna hurt i feel like you did either you're about to find out something about your twin that you're not gonna like or you already did and they know about some sort of incident and they feel like humiliated okay they do because <laughs> they want to go after what they desire and they're not talking to that karmic soulmate anymore but it's almost like man it's almost like too little too late is what I'm feeling here at least that could be how a lot of you are feeling I don't know so because this is a reading for like somebody that's that wants to meet a high level soulmate spirit is already working with you on that so this must be something you must have wished for or wanted and I can see why your twin is in a not in the greatest energy so that is what I have uh, oh let's get some timing timing for this um, high level soulmate I always forget to get these 4933 Tell me about 
this high level oh, high level soulmate spirit for Leo's. Okay, spirit wanted to say happy birthday. Sounds better on vinyl. So happy birthday, Leo. No mistake about that. Okay, you also could be dealing with another Leo here. We do have King and Queen of Wands. So what else here? Let's summon some shit. Uh oh. So this little Queen of Swords is summoning something. We're gonna have to find out what that is. Thursday. So they could have done this on Thursday. Why does everybody have to be dealing with these? I'm telling you, these people, they're like devil's agents. They don't even know it. They're being controlled spiritually by these dark forces to make them do some stupid shit. And it's probably because in they're in their shadow. When you're in their shadow, you're susceptible to all kinds of stuff. And you don't even know why you're acting out the way you're acting out. It's nuts. Alright, what, what are we summoning here? So this Queen of Swords knows about you. Ooh. Sex magic, yeah. Ooh. My jaw just popped. Yeah, what kind of sex magic we doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Someone is doing sex spell work on you to win sexual control over you. So that's definitely somebody here they're with. So they don't want this person to leave. And we have sp freeze spell. Someone wants to stop any progress on your way to success. And remember, this person is waiting on some sort of blessing. So your high level soulmate has a blessing coming and this person is trying to keep them tied so they benefit from whatever that is. Okay, imprisonment could be, you know, literal or it could be that eight of swords energy that they're overthinking something. And this person is trying to keep them stuck, but they're going through a divorce. Maybe they're getting a settlement here or, you know, um... So this Queen of Swords must have done something pretty bad to this person to get all that, for, for them to be getting all that money. So, okay, bottom of the deck. Targeted. Someone thinks you hurt them and are mad and out to seek revenge. Yeah. So they're feeling hurt and now they want to seek revenge because they're getting a divorce. Oh, Lord. People always playing victim. They think that you're supposed to stay with them while they do all this fuck shit around you and, and you know, to you. But y'all about to live happily ever after. Okay, this could be next year, but you could meet this person this year after this divorce and then, you know, things get more committed next year. So take that how it resonates. Let's see here. What else? They are worth the wait. Feelings. Feelings are much like waves. We can't stop them from coming, but we can choose which one to surf at present. Okay, so right now, you know, I feel like you could be dealing with another Leo. I feel like their birthday. It's their birthday. I'm really feeling like that's what it is. So this is them going through heartbreak, going through a divorce. There's children involved, family involved. There could be a family business. Ah, okay, yeah. Now I see. That's where the money's coming from. There's some sort of family business here where they're going to bank. Um, and this person, they're going to court for it. So it must be their business. Okay, so they may pay them out something, but they're not gonna they're not gonna get as much as they thought they were, this Queen of Swords. 
and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Very soon, I feel like that's the whole transformation, the divorce, and somebody freeing themselves from this situation. Stay trippy, little hippie. <laughs> Worth the wait, see? So stay hip, stay trippy, little hippie. <laughs> you are awakened, so you're spiritual, they're spiritual. Drinking wine and feeling fine, okay? Yeah, you're just going to be, you know, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me at this stage. You're just chilling. You, you know, you're enjoying your own company. I feel like you know it's worth the wait. You know, they have to lose their mind in order to find their soul or, or this is what your twin had to do. You might, you know, you may not have a chance with your twin this lifetime because you're meeting a high-level soulmate. But next lifetime, they might just lose their mind and find their freaking soul and stop giving their soul to all these spiritual attachments. Okay? But let's get a few cards here for your twin. Yeah. All the hurt my heart has felt is still not enough to imprison my soul. Rebirth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you smell like drama and a headache. Please go away immediately. <laughs> you're you're done there. <laughs> this is your energy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You you're just done. You're tired of, you know, they hurt you. You you went through a rebirth. You don't want any of that. Okay? <laughs> That's too funny. All right, guys, Leo, that is what I have, 56.59. Hey, on the clock. Let me know in the comments if anyone resonates, and I wish you guys the best. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.